Hi, uh, this is Fraser. We're here in Eden Sanctuary, um, sitting here with River, who's learning to be a, um, a teacher at the moment, and she's really passionate about creating a positive foundation from the roots of society, teaching children to be awesome. And she's looking at alternative different styles of education. And we're meeting here with Fawn. Hi, Fawn. Hi. Fawn's a personal trainer and uh, health coach. And uh, she's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Fraser. Yeah, so I want to know a bit about you. I want to know about where you came from, what your past life was and your journey to being who you are now that then created and materialized Eden Sanctuary. Cool. Um, so my past life, as in before moving to Eden Sanctuary, I was traveling around the world exploring different cultures and communities, looking for ways that people were making the world better and ways that people were making their lives better. If I go back a little bit further to, than that, to what inspired this whole thing, um, I grew up in Adelaide and I, I had an alright life, but there was definitely some things I wasn't happy about, some things I was sad about, some things I really wasn't very good at. Um, and then one day it just really hit me that I didn't want to be going through life unhappily. I didn't want to go through life feeling lonely. And it didn't, all of a sudden it wasn't like, oh, that's not fair or that's not good. Suddenly it seemed like that was wrong. Mm. Like I was somehow missing the point. And, uh, so I kind of said to my mind, Look, if you can figure out how I'm meant to be, I'm going to do it. It's kind of like suddenly just reached out to this like unconscious brilliance that I've, I'd heard about. You know, they say we use 2% of our brain. It's like, okay, the other 98% of my brilliance. All right, figure out how I'm meant to be. And I, I sort of had this inner feeling like, yeah, if I could figure out or if I could somehow find how the world's meant to be, I'm going to make that happen. And uh, I, I said that little bit about creating the world as it's meant to be. I said it to my subconscious. And I also kind of reached out if there was some like universal intelligence that was guiding the universe. If it existed, I want, I want to know and I'm going to devote myself to it. Um, yeah, and then a few days later I was sitting in my room. And uh, um, what happened was really, really out there. Um, I'd never had anything at all like this before. Um, so it really, not, it really impacted on me like that this happened. So I'm sitting there and all of a sudden I, I blacked out. And I started having like a vision. Um, I was sitting in this huge empty space. There was like these little waves of energy through the air, but they were really subtle. Just a big empty space. And suddenly I was looking at a mind and the mind was made of all the different things in a mind. Every thought, every feeling, every attitude, every hurt, every happiness, every love, how good it was at different things. And they were made up of all these different little bubbles. So there's like a bright yellow happy bubble zipping around. Maybe there was like a little sad, dark bubble going. And there was bubbles that were really good at things and they were talented and bright. And, and, and then there was things where like, oh, you're no good at that. And you're going to forget that. So that every different kind of thought, every different point of, of a person, billions of them were all bubbling around. And as bubbles do, they'd be popping together and mixing their little colors inside and, and floating around. And I just watched for a while. And it just made perfect sense that everyone was made up of all the different thoughts and feelings that had gone into them and those different thoughts and feelings affect each other like I watched a happy little stream of bubbles and it would go around and it would like leave little swirls of happiness and make other stuff better and then there was like little little dark vortexes mm. sucking other things in and it just was so clear that we're just all these different bits interacting on ourselves all the time it was beautiful to watch just to see all the intricacies of a person. It's probably the most insightful moment of my life.
just complete understanding of everything about me and just humanity in general that we're made up of all those experiences interacting on each other. And then suddenly my perspective shifted and instead of seeing it as a mind, I was looking at the world and all those little bubbles were different people. There was bright yellow awesome bubbles like you that were just zipping around making people awesome and there was other bubbles that were a bit confused and other bubbles that were okay and other bubbles that were sad. And they're all affecting each other and they're all changing all the time. Mm. my perspective shifts back to looking at one person and I'm just watching it and then I could just sense from behind me it just came out this big golden powerful bubble and it was coming in with so much energy and so much power like so much momentum it was would have been flying in like super fast but it was so epic like it came in in slow motion I was just like whoa and as I looked into this bubble, it was like all the happiness and brilliance and goodness you've ever imagined. I didn't see that. I just felt it. It was like, here is pure goodness. It was so bright, like brighter than anything I'd ever seen. And it just comes into the rest of the bubbles and just explodes. And then there's these three super bubbles pouring, flying around inside the other billions of other bubbles. And every single bubble that it t got hit by this bubble, it just like flew off super bright and happy. There's just goodness and brilliance and peace and tranquility just flying off of these other bubbles, being good at everything. And I watched these bubbles kind of weave their way through and just make everything brighter. Happiness, love, compassion, brilliance, confidence, community, just everything was just pouring off them. And so they were just flying around, just weaving their goodness into this whole mind. And there was billions of bits of this mind, so there was some work to do. And they were like flying around, just they'd made millions of bubbles better. And then two of them hit each other and exploded some more, like five of these bubbles came out. Like all this goodness, all this goodness, and there's even more goodness. And so then there's like seven of these bubbles zipping around the mind, making everything better. And then two of them crash, and so then there's ten of them. And then two of them crash, and just eventually the whole thing was just brimming with all this golden brilliance. And it was just started like like an, um, a chain reaction, nuclear explosion. Just It was just brighter and brighter. And I was just feeling this pure potential, like everyone could be total brilliance and happiness and love, like beyond anything we've ever seen in the human race. Even the most profoundly awesome people would just be a glimpse of human potential because they've just lifted themselves this little bit more than where we're at. If everyone was operating at like full magic, full energy full brilliance like I was just yeah. brimming while I was watching this mind and then eventually it just went and the entire universe just filled up with this gold and I came to and I was just lying on my bedroom floor just feeling like full of this gold and I remember just sitting up and going whoa I've got to find out what that bubble was <laughs> and I'd never had a vision before like Spirituality had always been a completely ridiculous thing to me, non-experiential, was just delusional. Um, so, yeah, to have had this experience was profound for me. Um, and, yeah, it was just this new feeling of potential. And then a couple of days later, I walked into this bookshelf. Uh, in, <laughs> I walked into a book room with that full of shelves, and there was a bookshelf 10 metres away. It's a big room. Yeah. And um, on the shelf, on the other side of the room, there was this little tiny book, and I could read what it said. It said the official guide to success. And it looked like it was this big, like it just jumped out at me. That had never happened to me before either. And I just was like, whoa. <laughs> I went over and I grabbed it. The back of the, pay the back cover said, this book's going to show you how to flick your switch from lose to win to create whatever life you want. And I just felt destined you know I don't really like using those words I like to be really practical and sensible in everything I do but this was just a far out experience mm. I read the first page and it said everything about us has come from the experiences we had as a child everything that people have said to us as kids and then at a certain point it's everything that we keep saying to ourselves mm. we're constantly thinking I'm like this I'm good at that I'm not good at that I'm this healthy, I'm this weight, 
I smile this much. You might say them in sentences or you might just hold that feeling, but we're constantly reinforcing who we are. Yeah. We're even telling other people, oh yeah, I'm no good at that. Oh, I really like that thing. Oh, I don't like those things. We're constantly just reinforcing all these programs that we have. And I, it, just, it just hit me from this first page of this book. He was describing the vision I had. Mm. Um, the rest of the book was a workbook on how to continually visualize and create who you want to be. So you get to imagine, you get to practice whatever you want. So he's reading this as a motivational book, how to be more successful, how to be like top of your field in the things that you're doing. And I was reading it in terms of this bright golden light that was going to change the world. Like I'm the happiest being that's ever existed and I love everybody and I'm just going to be great at everything and I'm going to create a lifestyle and culture that will radically change the world. And I went and just continually visualized and thought about how I would be and how my community would be to create that. So I had the, ne the most amazing two months after that. Um, I had turned myself around from being very sad to feeling great. Um, before that, I thought I was uncoordinated and, and awkward. And all of a sudden, I just felt really cool and really good at sport and it blew me away that I had suddenly just become really good at everything, just from changing my perspective. Um, I went from having like just a few friends, and I don't think we even really liked each other. <laughs> all of a sudden, I, all of a sudden, I had loads of friends, and like life was fun. I felt really loved. Some of my positive thoughts were like, "I love everybody, so people care about me." So I obviously, like my connections all changed. Like I turned my whole life around. Um, I also was inspired by like the power of the mind so I went and did a speed reading course and a photographic memory course I was learning all these really cool tricks about how to make our minds work better and yeah I can still do it but I was amazed like within a few weeks of training I could go and memorize hundreds of things you could just tell me loads of stuff I can memorize them and I'm, I'm better at that now but yeah it was really impressive that so quickly I'd created this stuff and I'm including the memory course because it was kind of pivotal, pivotal in the next next story. But, you know, in this month I was happy and, and inspired. I, I had been failing school like straight E's before that. I got one D. Um, if you're not from Australia, an E is a fail and a D is almost... An epic fail. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's, that's what I got them term before and then I just changed it around. I enjoy school. I've got an amazing memory. I understand everything created that perspective and you know I in like half a term I turned all my grades around to A's and B's and it was it was really good to just like have everything sort of spun around um, and I started just really caring about my health liking healthy food started exercising lots it was maybe the first time ever that I'd really understood that how good you are isn't inherent it's not like you're good at this or you're good at that it's about training. So I went out and I trained. I started building muscles. I started learning skills, started getting fit. Um, I think it's a real disservice whenever any kid has ever said, you're not good at that. Because it's not true. It's just you've got to learn to calibrate how you do it differently. So, yeah, these two months were just awesome. So I sudden, suddenly, like, way better at stuff. Um, oh, yeah, and the changes were really fast. Like, because I was imagining being great, I recalibrated really quickly. Yeah. Anyway, so it's Christmas Day. Come over, and I'm giving them this demonstration that uh, I can memorize things and I feel amazing. And I gave them the memory demonstration. They gave me like 65 things to memorize. Everyone came up with a few things. I memorized them all, got them all perfect. They could quiz me throughout the day, and I just had them all. Memorize. I showed them how I'd started learning music and how I was really happy and healthy. I was like, all this stuff's really easy. I could teach you how it all works in like no time at all. And I was kind of offering this thing like, I want you guys to help me change the world. And everybody responded with, no, I'm not interested. And for the first time in two months, I had a glimpse of not feeling amazing. Like I had been choosing bliss and happiness this entire time. And it was, it, was, it was a huge blow. And I remember going to my room later that day 
and still being shocked how could someone not completely love the idea of being awesome and changing the world and uh, yeah sitting there and then I noticed that I wasn't feeling so good another thing I'd been practicing during these two months was mindfulness which is just very quickly checking in with yourself constantly or almost constantly just having this process in your mind of like how am I feeling what am I thinking what's creating that and so as soon as I noticed that I'd like worked myself into this not so good feeling I was like oh I don't want to do that okay let's get back into feeling awesome why did that happen oh I'm reacting to people around me and then the next set of visions hit me so this is Christmas Day 95 was it was actually summer solstice um, 95 and um, I'm sitting there and I started thinking what it'd be like if the people around me also wanted to be pure awesome and we're all constantly helping each other to feel good and not just in a way like normal positive people do but knowing that what you say if you say it in the right way people experience it directly mm. like if I say to myself oh, I want to be more confident it's totally different to me imagining feeling really confident so when I speak to other people I try and say positive things in a way that they can just instantly feel and take on and I imagined a group of people that were all like creatively improving themselves and each other and it was just a beautiful group, a beautiful place that I saw. And then I imagined us creating a center where we lived and did that and ran exercises for people to come and learn it. And then it just hit me. Like this, this was just, it just exploded and ran away for the next 12 hours. Like a culture that was designed to change the world. So not only were we nice to each other and positive and inspiring to each other, but even our clothes were constantly bright and fun and beautiful. Um, the games we played, the music we made, the music we played, the movies we watched, the movies we created, the stories we told, the ways we exercised, the food we made, everything that we did was consciously created to be beautiful and inspiring. So we made this culture as wonderful as we could. And then we'd start sharing that out with other people. And I started to see, you know, in a very practical sense, you know, if we make really amazing clothes, that are inspiring to people, we could ship them out to people and along with each one comes a little, this was before the internet, came a little like CD that had some positive teaching on it so that people could get these positive clothes and then go out and shine it to the world with like a smile in their heart to share out to people. And so I sort of imagined like all these different styles and things to share that we could send goodness out to the world. And then I started to imagine different centers everywhere. Um, someone else has just arrived in the sanctuary. Hey LA, come on in. I'm telling the story of, of how we the sanctuary was first created. Marvelous. Um, and I'm rec recording it for the world. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just this idea of creating every bit of... Hi LA. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> hey. Um, so, we... Creating every kind of part of human life to be positive, inspiring and awesome and um, yeah, I was watching this centre as a beautiful place for people to come and for us to all blossom and then it hit me like what you could do with that is then set up a centre in every city in the world. I don't think anyone should ever be lonely or ever have any time where they don't know who to turn to. The world should have a network where there's always someone who cares about everybody. No one should ever feel alone. And if you had this network of places around the world where people would go to, that would help everyone blossom. I mean, every, you can hopefully see that would make the world more beautiful for everybody. Um, and yeah, so I was seeing these networks all around the world. As they expanded out, every little street, every little neighborhood, every family, would have a time maybe once a week or once a day where they checked in, helped everyone be awesome, helped their dreams came true. And as part of this big global network, if someone needed something, there'd be a way to find the person who would help them. So everyone was being helped as much as possible to bring the best out of everybody. Um, <clears throat> and you can imagine if, you know, I just said before I came and started Eden Sanctuary, I'd traveled around the world looking for goodness. Imagine if all the good, beautiful bits of culture from around the world had a way of being showcased. 
And everyone who looked at that showcase was also watching it with the idea of, okay, we're going to take on these good habits and good things. All the best of the world being amplified up and shone out to the rest, to everyone else. Um, so that's one of the things United Visions has got to create, like uh, forums and conferences and online systems where people can share their best bits of wisdom and culture and habits. Um, cross-corporation, cross-cultural, all the best that the world has from every different style, art, management, caring, fun, every bit of human culture, the best all being mixed together and then sh everyone in the world learning all the different best things. And obviously you'll still have huge variety of culture because people would choose what they like. But you'd have like people choosing from the smorgasbord of awesome. Whereas at the moment, you know, most people choose from the smorgasbord of what's down their street. Yeah. Or who they're hanging out with. So yeah, just this vision of the world consciously creating itself. That's that's what inspired in Sanctuary. So at the moment we have a whole bunch of different exercises so that everyone here gets that feeling of creating themselves. We get really good at it. We practice different styles. We're fine-tuning the techniques that work. We invite other coaches and trainers to bring it, bring the, in their, um, their best. Um, and, yeah, we're networking with other places that are doing positive, amazing things. Um, yeah, and I guess this is an invitation to you and anyone else who likes that dream to come and blossom. Um, either if you're completely passionate about enlightening the world, or even if you just want to come and, and help yourself to be happier, more content, more awesome. I've found when you devote what you're doing to the wider world, um, it brings you the greatest happiness and joy. So I encourage everybody to do that. But, um, yeah, it's an invitation for anyone to come visit, um, come to our classes, come on retreat, um, watch our classes online, share some positivity with other people, but yeah, I just want everyone to come join us.